Good afternoon, everybody, and blessings. Okay, you guys, I just want to bring you a little bit of news, actually a lot of news here. Um, this was sent in by our brother, Paul, and thank you so much, brother Paul. And uh, wow, you guys, everything, I believe, is getting ready to start. Now, this is talking about, um, well, they're wanting to impeach Joe Biden, okay? And uh, if you guys remember our sister Tatum's dream where she was walking upstairs, she was in a classroom, that means she was in heaven, and she heard in the back of the classroom, when they start to impeach the president, everything starts. And in the light of everything that's going on, you guys, I believe this is the perfect timing for everything, okay? And then also our sister Amanda, where she had um, the dream where Biden and Trump were going against each other. Well, I heard on TBN just a little while ago that Biden is planning on officially announcing that he's running for president again on Tuesday. And again, in light of everything that's going on, you guys, in that dream, she was raptured. The Mexican lady uh, pulled up. And uh, she asked her, do you have your ID? And Amanda said, no. And I think we go before that happens, you guys. So anyways, let's listen to this. Here we go. Uh, with, from House Judiciary, one of the committees that got the whistleblower letter, Congressman Jeff Van Drew is from House Judiciary. And we have New York Post columnist John Levine, who's been breaking stories on Hunter Biden for years. Congressman, first to you. Is there enough to launch an obstruction of justice probe against the White House here? Well, my gut is there will be enough to launch a probe. Uh, we have to get all the T's crossed, the I's dotted. We've got to obviously see the information. We're not quite at that stage yet. But if it is as it seems, I mean, this is very, very serious. Talk about the deep state. I mean, it never ends with the Bidens. The stuff that we knew from before about where the money came from, the stuff we knew about China, the stuff we knew about the laptop. Now we've got all this information. Uh, th there's going to be a very busy time in Washington, D.C. And we owe it to the people. And we owe it to the integrity of our government. We just cannot allow this to continue. God knows this man may be impeached at the end of the day. Congressman mm. uh, Van Drew makes a point, a potential obstruction of justice probe, because, uh, John, inside the DOJ, the IRS whistleblower, is alleging he's got emails and documents and contemporaneous witnesses who could be called in to testify that DOJ political employees were blocking and stonewalling the Hunter Biden probe. John, does this stick out to you? You know, Democrat lawmakers and the media, they've been going after Trump and hammering him over his finances and taxes, while the Biden family is making money cashing in on Biden's government job around the world with U.S. adversaries, and then creating these off-balance sheet shell companies to hide their money flows. It's like this Glenn Greenwald journalist says, this is a key tactic. Hold everyone else but yourself to the highest moral standards as, as you get rich. Right. Well, I mean, the allegations contained in this whistleblower complaint are very, very serious. And I think we need to really take a wait and see approach. Right. You know, we, you know, we don't know what we don't know here. We don't know what we have here. And I think it's just very important that this whistleblower get in front of the right committees and, and congressmen and just lay everything on the table. And, you know, one of the things I find most disconcerting is apparently sworn testimony from a senior political appointee at the IRS apparently is not correct. It was false. And he has she has proof of that. So I just I just want to learn more here and uh, and maybe there will be, you know, enough evidence for an obstruction of justice probe. I'll, I'll remind your viewers that President Trump was impeached because of a whistleblower complaint over a phone call. So these things can be very serious and, and escalate very, very quickly. Yeah, it could escalate quickly. To what John just said, we know half service like James Comer is on our show. Nine family members of the Biden family allegedly profiting off of cashing in on Joe Biden's government job, Congressman mm -hmm. Then Drew. Joe and Joe Biden. Uh, it's been already documented. They use an LLC shell company to lower their Medicare and Obamacare payments, uh, reportedly nearly half a million bucks there. Also, the Bidens use their home state of Delaware's, uh, you know, the story financial privacy laws to shield their income from public view using these off-balance sheet LLCs and S-Corps. So it feels like potentially a tax, a bigger tax problem for the Biden family uh, along, alongside obstruction of just, justice issues as well. 
No, there's a good, uh, the host of problems, certainly a tax issue uh, besides the obstruction, and we don't even know the half of it yet. If we can really drill down and get to the truth and literally find out what's going on and stop the protection which this family is receiving, uh, that from the Department of Justice and others, um, I think we're going to find that there's a lot there. They had a whole system set up from one family member to another family member, from China over to the Bidens, to Hunter. It's amazing what went on and is, has gone on. You know, so this story too, John, reports that House Judiciary took sworn testimony from former acting CIA Director Mike Morrell that that push by 51 U.S. intelligence officials, including Morrell, before the 2020 election to dismiss your paper's Hunter Biden laptop story as Russian disinformation came out of Joe Biden's 